The purpose of these tests are to increase the safety on the nation's waterways. When you encounter someone who has broken the law, they need to be addressed. And they help the officer establish probable cause by providing a series of cognitive function, and the field sobriety tests confirm that. We can use them in the boat, we can make the arrest decision right then and there. That's why it's important. Operation Dry Water is a cooperative effort to bring attention to the issue of operating under the influence. Many fatalities nationwide are associated with alcohol, and if we can find a way to reduce that, we're ultimately saving lives. The importance of the tests were to be able to develop some tests that officers could do on the water with a person sitting down, and therefore takes equilibrium out as a factor. Before we would have to go back to the shore and do some more sobriety tests on a stable platform. The new seated battery tests consist of the gaze nystagmus. Also, there is a palm pat, finger to nose test, and a hand dexterity test. Each of the field sobriety tests has identified clues. Every bit of it scientifically researched. And here's what you look for, and if you get this many indicators, high likelihood that individual is impaired. And then essentially, the officer, he's going to develop probable cause. These people are personally and professionally motivated to create a better recreational environment for voters across the United States. So we're going to be working real hard to get officers trained on how to administer and evaluate these field sobriety tests. And that's what our role in the, the voting safety program really is. It's all about trying to save lives.